those confessional poems I was writing, I began to uh, be tired of, uh, of the rhythms that I didn't know it was the rhythms. I began, actually, these aren't characteristic of what I was getting tired of. Uh, and that's why I'm not reading those poems, I guess. But um, without knowing about Pound or Olson, without having any kind of background like that when I was first writing, what I was really searching for was my own breath. You know, my own measure or uh, keeping, tracking that process inside me, how I, th how I thought in my head, not how a poem was supposed to be written. And uh, this, when I started being in touch with that, and it's very related to what Diane was talking about, that, that movie and that, but also how the movie sounds put into language, you know, this, the stuttering rather than the long, completely formed musical sentence. I mean, the music is just there no matter what. So it's how it's lurching along in your particular, in my head, uh, that I was trying to catch. Um, so I'll read you a few poems that were written when I first became in touch with that kind of thing that I was trying to get down. This is called The Baker's Daughter. Personal things is all I care about, she said. He wouldn't be personal. That's why I changed hearts. Parts of me ache. But when our legs touch, I know what we have in common. We loving too. And pancakes, the joy they bring, is what I wanted to tell most. We made a crack in the wall to whisper through. That's personal. Or the dream his skin full of blood. You've been crying, I said. I gave him sympathy because I wanted sympathy from him. I thought I was good, but it was lonesome. I woke up full of lonesome. I wanted to be personal, so I lit the oven, she said.